So neurocutaneous disorders are problems that are inherited that primarily, primarily affect the brain and the skin. That's because they have a common ectoderm origin. So that's why you have these constellation of symptoms. So the first one is called neurofibromatosis type 1, NF1. This is due to autosomal dominant mutation in the NF1 tumor suppressor gene. And this gene codes for the protein neurofibromin. And what you're going to get is you're going to get, when you have this problem, you have cafe au lait spots. So cafe is brown. So you have these brown macules on your skin. You have many neurofibromas. So these are actually like little tumors, little pop-up tumors on your skin. And it's very characteristic, neurofibromas. Finally, you have Lish nodules. So you see in the pupil, you see these brown colorations. Brown little circles, these are Lish nodules. So this is a very classic findings for NF1. Now we have NF2, neurofibromatosis 2, type 2. This is an autosomal dominant mutation to NF2 tumor suppressor gene. And this is on chromosome 22. So NF2 on chromosome 22. And this codes for the protein Merlin. And the presentation for this one is also very characteristic. What you get is a bilateral acoustic neuroma. An acoustic neuroma is another name for a vestibular schwannoma. These are the same names. These are just benign tumors that can affect cranial nerve 8. Oh, let's go back. Cranial nerve 8, okay? And cranial nerve 8 courses near the cere this is the cerebellum, as you can see. The back of the skull is characteristic. Look, it's the bilateral appearance of the cerebellum. And this right here in the red is our vis uh, acoustic neuroma. Now we see in this picture that it's a unilateral, so that is not associated with NF2. What you need to do is you need to have a second one, so it's bilateral, and that is NF1. That's I mean NF2, that's pretty much diagnostic of NF2. The other thing you can have is a meningioma. But really, the, the thing that's going to give you the answer for this question is this bilateral acoustic neuroma, which was the, remember, it was the benign tumor of, of the cranial nerve 8. Next, we have Sturgey Weber syndrome. This is due to a congenital development, developmental abnormality. It's not inherited of small blood vessels and is due to the mutation of the GNAC gene. So it's a problem of blood vessels. So you're going to get vascular malformations. So that's the key word. It's vascular malformations. You're going to get ma vascular malformations of the face and you get a port wine stain, which is what is seen here. This is a port wine stain. It's very characteristic of Sturgey Weber syndrome. You can also have vascular malformations of the CNS, and that just basically causes uh, neurological problems. So you can have seizures, intellectual disability, and if it's vascular mal malformations in the eye, you can have early onset glaucoma. And that's actually not vascular malformations of the eye. You're going to have increased intracranial pressure, and that is going to lead to early onset glaucoma. Next is tuberous sclerosis. And this is due to mutations in the tumor suppressor genes TSC1 and TSC2. So tuberous, TSC stands for tuberous sclerosis. And what you're going to get is you're going to have skin findings and small benign tumors. You can have ash leaf spots, which just look like little leaves, and it's like a discoloration on your skin that looks like a leaf. You have chagrin patches. So you can take a, uh, take a little Google of these two if you w would like. Um, I couldn't find any good pictures for you, sorry. And you have a variety of small benign tumors. So you can have cardiac rhabdomyomas, so it's just a tumor in the heart. You can have hamartomas in the central nervous system and the skin. So that can lead to intellectual disability and seizures. Angiofibromas, which are little tumors with blood vessel origin. And a renal angiomyolipoma. So this is like a blood, fat, and muscle tumor in the kidneys. So I just remember it's, it's a bunch of little small little tumors all over your body. You can have a couple of skin findings. The last tuberous sclerosis. Finally, we have von Hippel-Lindahl syndrome, VHL. This is due to autosomal dominant deletion of the VHL gene on chromosome 3. So you remember chromosome 3 because that's three letters in VHL. And this can lead to development of both benign and malignant tumors. And there's three of them to remember. So first is heme angioblastomas in the CNS. So that's kind of just a kind of blood, uh, benign blood vessel origin tumor. You can have bilateral renal cell carcinoma, that's the malignant one, or you can have renal cysts, and you can have pheochromocytomas. Remember, pheochromocytomas are going to give you 
the symptoms of like a pounding headache, super high blood pressure, um, red face. So if you um, so if you see that in a patient, they also have renal cell carcinoma, and then you're gonna you gotta be suspicious of VHL. All right, so let's do a little summary of our neural cutaneous disorders. NF1, NF1 and NF2 are very easy. They're very characteristic. NF1 has this neurofibromas, cafe ole spots, and Lish nodules. NF2 is really easy. It's the bilateral acoustic neuromas. And I, I sometimes got this mixed up, but remember that neurofibromas are only in NF1. Even though N neuro, NF2 stands for neurofibromatosis, the neurofibromas you only see in NF1. Sturgy Weber and tuberous sclerosis are a little harder to remember and to keep apart. Sturgy Weber, the key one to remember is Port Weinstein. Now, this can have intellectual disability and seizures, but tuberous sclerosis can have that too, so that Port Weinstein really gives it away. Tuberous, tuberous sclerosis has other skin findings that you want to know, so there's the ash leaf spots and shagreen patches, so take a Google to see how that looks like, and you're going to have benign tumors all over your body, so that's tuberous sclerosis. I don't know, I kind of think of tubers as kind of like a tumorous thing. So it's like a tuber growing around your body, so small benign tumors. And finally, you have VHL. And remember, that's the one with benign and malignant tumors, especially bilateral renal cell carcinoma is seen in VHL. All right, so that's it for a summary of neurocutaneous disorders.